so much for our 48 hour weekend. This weekend, we actually spring forward and we lose an hour of sleep. While adjusting your clock, it's also important you adjust your sleeping habits so you're ready for your Monday morning commute. Two News reporter Kelly King is asking questions about how daylight saving time can lead to problems on the roads. AAA says there is a correlation between an increase in crashes and the time change. Come Monday, you might be more tired than you realize, which is why AAA says start preparing now. When you get behind the wheel, it's going to be darker for the next several weeks for your morning drive, and there's a potential for more sleepy drivers. AAA says sometimes caffeine just won't cut it. Don't rely on coffee to wake you up because that's not always the case. <laughs> a lot of people think that, but that's not always the case. The CDC estimates one in three is sleep deprived and one in 20 has fallen asleep at the wheel in the past month. AAA Public Affairs Manager Kara Hitchens says drowsy driving can sometimes be even more dangerous than drunk driving. Drunk driving, you can make a choice not to be on the road. But if you're out there driving drowsy, you could easily fall asleep, easily cause a crash, easily be in a crash. She says don't underestimate the effectiveness of a power nap. If you feel sleepy, pull over and take a break. With the time change, use extra caution in school zones. Children might be harder to see. Slow down, make sure your headlights are on, and put away all distractions. You're going to also have that, that sun glare where the sun is coming up in the, in the eastern sky. And pedestrians need to be alert too. Stay on sidewalks and walk in crosswalks. If you're walking and there are no sidewalks, make sure that you're walking in the, dire in the direction that traffic is coming so that you can see them and they can see you. AAA says also watch out for those roadside workers. When you see vehicles stopped on the side of the road, move over to help keep them safe. Kelly King, 2 News.